everybody, Chantalia from Metis. Um, today we are going to be chatting about marketing. Is it an expense or is it an investment? So what we thought we would do today is instead of hearing from a marketing agency who's going to obviously be extremely, extremely biased about this, we thought we'd bring in somebody totally neutral and somebody that has a finance background that can explain the difference for us. So this is Grant from eHire and Grant is going to tell us a little bit more about his business and then we'll get on to the subject at hand today. Hey Grant. Thank you. Um, my name is Grant. I'm a CA by background um, and I own a company called eHire and we service um, in the events industry uh, for anyone wanting to host an event, a big or small, uh, wanting to hire products they don't necessarily own or have enough of. And we service the B2B market. Um, so that would be our event events professionals like event organizers, venues, wedding planners. And then we also service uh, B2C Okay. Uh, the business to consumer of um, the end user so whether you're literally having 20 guests over for an evening um, we service those clients as well fantastic so it sounds already that you'd probably need multiple marketing strategies speaking to two different very different types of audiences 100 like <laughs> diff different completely different and tell me do you have to get in new business as well as retain com companies uh, yes, so both. So new business, um, especially towards you know where we are as a business now, wanting to uh, grow quite quite rapidly. Okay. Um, and then retention is you know the best in terms of the the highest return on investment. Yes, for sure. Now. We are. We're going to definitely be speaking about return on investment shortly. So on that subject matter, um, from your financial background, can you maybe just dumb it down for the rest of us and just let us know what is the difference between the word expense and the word investment? All right, I think everyone will have different opinions on it. Um, but from my you know, understanding, an expense is very much around um, realizing or consuming a resource or benefit now mm. um, and, and seeing that w when you spend it. Um, and an investment is more longer terms where you see then um, the, the benefit over time. Okay. And it isn't necessarily realized today or at that moment in time when you spend it. Okay, so my brain very much works in examples. So. If you had to give us an example from a marketing perspective, how would you classify this? So I think that with an expense, it would be something like uh, paying for a Google ad uh, click. So if it's um, one person clicking um, your ad, that would be an immediate expense uh, mm. because you realize that benefit immediately when they go to your to your web page. Okay. Um, and then with uh, an investment, an investment would probably be something like um, branding your vehicles, um, it would be something like um, even, and this isn't necessarily a, an accounting correct term, but mm -hmm. even something like building your website where you have an enduring benefit over time with okay. what you build. So essentially, as I can almost understand, an investment would be something that at some point I will see a return where an expense I will most likely see, I'll get an almost immediate gratification from it. Yes. Okay. I think I, I, think I understand that. <laughs> Um, so I think one of the questions that we get quite a lot on our side, and maybe the two of us m need to answer this one together, is how much should I be spending on my marketing and what is the return I can expect? So we get that a lot. People have not necessarily budgeted for it, so they don't really have an understanding of what, what to expect going mm. forward. So I think people probably hate this, um, this answer, but it depends. Um, <laughs> and I think that what... The elements, the factors that need to be considered are, are, are important because everyone is um, in, in different complexities, whether it be a very transactional um, you know, relationship with, with, with clients, um, set sales, um, and then also a, a consultative one. Mm. Um, so things that we take into account from our, um, from our team is very much around the fact that um, we look at uh, the type of client, so the value um, that we expect. So if mm. it's um, a small value sale, then you know, the type of marketing that you're gonna spend is not necessarily gonna be all banked on all, all your eggs in that basket in mm. particular. Um, but then for, uh, for sales that are a lot more enduring, so that would be something like our B2B customers, mm. we would definitely look to um, invest a lot more in that whole process and not just looking at one specific um, time point. I guess that. because of you your ROI that would come in, your return on investment would probably be a lot higher with the business to business and you also know that's going to get bringing you returning business. Yeah. So I think that's one of the things that we always try and understand on our side is 
when people come to us in, and this is something maybe to, to write down is before going to your marketing agency you're going to need to do a little bit of homework on, on for yourself and some questions they're going to ask you is what is your average order value? So in your particular case, we'd probably look at two different average order values because you've got two very different markets. Yes. So I'd probably look at, well, what's your average order value for your business to consumer? And what is your average order value from business to business? It can be so difficult to, to know that, but just go back into history and just take a look. And yes, there's gonna be the exceptionally high one and the exceptionally low one, take that out. Let's look at your average. And I think, yeah, that's that, that's so true. And, and also looking at um, your actual sales cycle. So. Um, you know, how long does it take for you to, um, from engaging with your customer or your prospect to actually the yes. sale? Um, because that determines, you know, in terms of uh, the value of your spend as well as um, the, the, the the time span of how long it takes. And I think on, on top of that, I would probably look at how many people must call you before that sale happens. So we call that conversion rate. Maybe a lot of people don't understand that term, but mm. from lead to sale, if three, if from for every three people that contact me, one person turns into a sale. So I think those sorts of 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 metrics are exceptionally important for your marketing agency to understand. And then one more that I'd like to throw is actually knowing what your goal is. It's amazing how often people come to us, they want marketing and we ask them, well, what, what do you want the marketing for? What is your goal? Oh, to grow. But make that into a smart goal. Like how much do you want to grow by? If you're currently a million rand business, are you looking to make that two million rand? And in what sort of period? Because I think that's very much going to determine how aggressive your marketing strategy needs to be. Yeah, so our, our, t uh, our kind of goal that we currently have right now it looks very much as uh, at um, the average order, order size, um, so we call it the basket size, um, mm -hmm. So, but specifically for a B2B customer versus a B2C. So a B2C will most likely, if it's a wedding, you know, it will be a large order, mm. but it's, it's not a repeat order and hopefully no one has a, another wedding <laughs> again. <laughs> the divorce um, party yeah. <laughs> and then a wedding party. So, so I think that that's, that that's a big, um, big factor that we take into account. Um, and then literally with that, with our B2B customers, it's a, it's a lot more around how do, we, um, how do we grow from our existing customers mm. and then as well as then how do we retain them. And marketing isn't just about um, you know spending on on design and the creative side mm. of things. It's very much on systems, and that's really what we've taken as well to manage the relationships, uh, and also from a new business side of things to actually push that you need to have proper tools and systems in mm. place, not just a creative um, content. I think the one thing that I love that you spoke about there really leans on our on our vlog from last month, which was around um, data. So it sounds like you, you really go through your data to understand your target markets and the systems that need to be in place for that. 100%. So well done. Definitely <laughs> definitely um, quite advanced marketing that's happening there at eHire. <laughs> We'd like to thank Grant for taking his time and sharing with us today. If you guys have any more questions in regards to um, our subject matter today and how much you feel you should be spending on marketing, you're more than welcome to give us a shout or put something in the comments below. Thanks, Mark. Did I say Mark? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Why did I say Mark? Oh, we were with Mark yesterday. <laughs> no, you can cut it before then. Yeah. You can say thanks. Thanks. Yeah, I'm leaving that in. <laughs> <laughs>